Hey everyone, uh, Ramon Roche here, General Manager for Drunker Foundation. I am joined by Jun Wu Huang, our amazing intern that's been doing a lot of the work you've been seeing on our social media channels and Slack and the forums and also on GitHub and most notably on GitHub. And I am joined with him today because it's uh, last week was his last week of his internship. And we decided to put together a quick presentation to share everything that you achieved because there was so much things that he made that I was worried that anything we could get lost. I wanted to find value of everything he did and appreciate him. So thank you, Junwoo, again for all the great work you did. Um, you. Is there anything you want to say to the community? Well, first, thank you to the community. Um, it was really great being like actually having in the being in the position where I can like contribute and actually manage the community and interact with the members and yeah it gave me way more um insight into how the community can be leveraged so that we can actually create something better and move forward and yeah i mean do something awesome and i really want to thank community and i mean ramon of course um and everyone who was involved in making this internship possible Awesome. Thank you, Junwoo. We are really happy that you decided to do your internship with us. Um, why don't we move to the presentation that we prepared, well, that you prepared for us today, and we can go quickly through it so that we can give a quick overview for the community mm -hmm. in case anyone missed anything. So let's see. Let's move to this layout right here. Right. We're here. We got the mm -hmm. slide here. slides here. So drunk internship recap from February to May 2022. So we're three months. This is everything that happened during the next three months. So let's get started, Jinwoo. All right. So first, um, yeah, so we can start with the PX4 Explain series. Um, you may have noticed in the Slack channel and stuff, I have been writing the blog post on multiple different concepts in PX4 that can be confusing for people. Um, oh, I mean, community. And this actually started out as a personal um, need when I was actually a PX4 user back in 2019, that I actually noticed that there's a huge gap between being a beginner who doesn't know anything about PX4 to becoming a developer who can actually implement features and understand uh, concepts enough to a level where they can actually create something tangible and make something work. So through these uh, six post series, the last one will come out uh, soon. And then, so this series basically uh, explained how the parameters work, why we need parameters, uh, and inner workings, um, basically everything that I thought would be necessary for someone to get started with the PX4 development. And also it goes for, same for UORB, which is such an important concept in PX4. And I tried to use some fun examples like cooks uh, making pasta and ordering pasta so that we don't have to worry about like really technical stuff. So we can just really intuitively understand what the UORB does so that you can actually become a PX4 developer without much of a barrier. Um, and that was the reason I started the series. Yeah. And to be honest, we had a list of like eight or 10 topics that we wanted mm -hmm. to get into. Mm -hmm. But we realized really quickly when we started the Parameter Explain series that we were not going to get too far, not because we didn't know enough of those topics, but because just the breadth of different topics within the parameters one alone was so much that we needed to break it up into three or sorry two. Mm -hmm. We had this Google doc with all the text for the blog post and it took us a long time to figure out the proper way to review it, to get mm -hmm. peer review from the dev team and to do grammar check and like copy check and make sure it's on the website and make schedule the announcements and make it make sure that the community saw this. And when we moved to the UARP Explain, I think we've kind of figured out the process. But mm -hmm. then I think Jun will quickly realize that UARP was such a 
big topic that he wanted to really go in depth and explain each of the steps instead of just doing a quick glance over, uh, which mm -hmm. we're really thankful for, Jumbo. Thank you for uh, doing that. How many pages is the Google Doc for the UR blog post? Is it um, 20, 50? No, it's 50. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know it's getting bigger because that part four was supposed to be a tiny blog post that's showing you what was yep. it, blog analysis. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, that part is probably going to add five extra, so 55 <laughs> or 60 probably. Well, we got to get that done soon because your mm -hmm. internship wrapped up, but mm -hmm. uh, I am really looking forward for that uh, blog post. I mm -hmm. hope that at some point in the future, if you get some free time, we can work together on new blog series. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to really thank you for doing that. I know the community appreciates those posts. They've been insane. So in Slack, in the forums, and on social media. So thank you again for that. Why don't we move on to your next slide? Sure. Um, and yes, I want to thank the community again here because um, actually a lot of the members actually DM'd me on Slack saying that, oh, I like this concept, but I think your series is maybe lacking in this areas or it's not so visible. So because of those comments, I could actually improve on them and discuss with Ramon like how we can improve the visibility and a lot of aspects. So thank you to the community for, again for that. Yeah, much appreciated, everyone. Wow, this one is also one of the big ones. So this like this this one took probably the three months that you were on your internship, right? Right. This was definitely the biggest project of the internship. Okay. So let me give a quick intro. So Yunwu worked with a uh, dev team to update and enhance the functionality on the follow me flight mode that's been in there forever. And the results are remarkable. Um, Maybe you can also play a video if we have time, uh, or we can put a link down below for everyone to see the end result. For sure, there's a link to the GitHub link on the slides that we're going to make available, and then there's a video link in there for YouTube, right, mm -hmm. Um, But And I also don't want to spoil too much because you, I know you're going to talk about this in the px for dev Summit, mm -hmm. but <laughs> can you give us a quick summary of what would what the experience was for you as an intern to work on this and uh, the end results? So, yes. Um, basically, when I started on February 21st, um, this project was um, just, this just came up as a need that needed to be improved. And this project was very interesting because it covers um, a very uh, specific task, uh, which is drone following you around. And it's very a uh, small task in the whole PX4 ecosystem. However, it had to do with, um, it had to include all the concepts like your parameters, all the blog posts that I wrote about, but as well as actually getting the review process from developers and thinking about like how to actually create this, how, how to actually implement this. and of course, testing um, countless hours of riding bikes around parks and figuring out how to improve this. And all this development process was such a great experience as I, for the internship. And this is exactly what I was expecting from the internship as well. And I'll be talking about this in the Dev Summit, but this feature is a very good example where I think I can show how you can actually develop a feature from ground up and go through the whole review process and getting getting merged to masters, master. Yeah, I think that's that's a great um, example of a contribution that actually gets very involved and touches on a lot of modules in the system. And it's kind of interesting that you mentioned that you solve your own purpose by actually writing those blog posts on the deep dive series with primers in Europe, and you were actually making use of that information on this mm -hmm. follow me. So that's great. And I, again, don't want to spoil a lot of things, but you showed me while you were progressing, how you were testing each side of things. And I was blown mm -hmm. away. Um, so thank you again for this. We should move on to the next one. And uh, I think this is the slide that captures everything that you worked on for getting this follow me uh, pull request merged um, without giving him a lot of a way, uh, 
I think this just shows everything that happened in between. And it's a good example of how the project was broken into pieces. And I only want to, I also want to mention that this was so big because there was a lot of things that needed to be updated and a lot of neat things that needed to be tested. Um, mm -hmm. So I also don't want to discourage everyone from the community from sending a pull request. It's not going to take you three months to get something merged. No. But uh, this was a feature that you will plan with the dev team and then they made the mm -hmm. execution happen on purpose on th during these three months. And uh, you was a perfectionist. <laughs> so he wanted to get everything <laughs> ready and perfect. <laughs> All right, <laughs> down to the semicolon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so so this is just a brief overview of what happened. And I will talk more on this type summit, but basically this is, I think, like maybe 30% of what actually went into this project. But there's a multi-layered process that goes into developing a feature. And it was really great. Um, make sure to watch the Dev Summit talk. Yeah, awesome. And the other thing that Junwoo made and had a huge impact was he started helping me on the dev calls. It, the dev calls, for those of you that don't know, is the weekly call that happens on Wednesdays for the PX4 uh, dev team and community. So that's where we coordinate on uh, what happened during the week and what's going to happen next week. And we give the community a voice through the Q&A section. Uh, Junwoo took over the um, management of the calls, so I was hosting the calls, Junwoo was taking minutes, and he also re helped us rearrange the agenda. He talked to everyone involved, made sure that everyone was on the uh, same page, and then helped us improve on this. So this is a format that we're going to continue driving on from now on and see where this takes us. Um, we've gone through several versions of uh, agendas for the dev call and formats for, throughout the last 10 years. And I think this one kind of fits with what we've been doing with the last months. So thank you again for um, paying attention to what was going on and uh, making sure that everyone was aligned uh, to make this change. Thank you for all the feedback on the form. Um, and yeah, this was actually one thing also um, that I always wanted to contribute to since I knew TX4 since 2019. Um, basically, I would yeah, sit in a taxi going home in the middle of the night because in South Korea, the dev call time is like, at, I don't know, 1 a.m. or something. And I was just listening and I was always thinking like, mm, I think this can be improved or, oh, why is it this way? Like, do we always have to talk about this issue? And in the end, like, because I had this uh, amazing opportunity to actually contribute and lead the lead by example on how we can do dev calls in a different way. Um, just it's, it's really minor changes, but I added some emojis and you know it makes it a bit more human to read the dev call so that it's not just a simple text floating around. There's some cute emojis. Maybe you're gonna read the dev call more if you have emojis but also like providing links and formatting it so that you can actually reuse the dev call and review the dev call. And you can, yeah, just to make sure that it will be useful in the future. And in that front, I wanted to add more formats and it was a interesting experience and a lot of feedback from the, uh, from Ramon and the community as well. Yeah, it's interesting how a small format change <laughs> can lead to so many discussions and to um, like advancements and making like changing the pace of a call and changing the structure of something. So um, again, um, thank you. And I think we should move on because we're running out of time. Mm -hmm. um, so you worked on uh, PRs and issues too? Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, as a PX4 intern, I mean, drone code intern, sorry, um, you're kind of expected to contribute to the whole ecosystem. So it covered a lot of areas and from QGC, PX4, PX4 user guide, QGC user guide, MEV SDK, MEV SDK proto, and I'm pretty sure I missed a couple of them as well. But so every month I, this is uh, this, like a brief overview of what I did. And as you can see, like in February, I started with follow me PR. And yeah, yeah. The list. And, and it's only through February 20th that's when you got started, right? 
Mm, so, yeah. <laughs> so there were just a few PRs. Uh, move on. Let's move on to the next month. You see the list mm. increase in size as <laughs> yeah. as general was fairly more comfortable with the community and like changing things and breaking things. <laughs> well, it and gets pretty out of control. <laughs> it gets out of control in April for sure. And then you'll and see that he even started moving more into QGC land. And now mm -hmm. in May, uh, we need to make that font smaller for this slide. <laughs> you got so many one. Yep. But mm -hmm. this just shows you everything that uh, he was contributing to. And I'm going to take a wild guess. All of this was because all of these issues and pull requests were things that you f faced while you were working on Follow Me and on the blog post and the blog post series, right? For sure. Everything from the blog post and the development, everything was from that. So like, let's say you found a, a bug in the parameters or the uh, UR code that you were looking at, then you send a pull mm -hmm. request for that? Yeah, I was just writing blog posts and I realized, oh, this is broken. And then I wanted to explain it to users, but I realized I cannot explain a broken concept. So I had to fix it first in the upstream and then, and then publish the blog post. It was pretty yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. So it just goes to show the, all the work that happened in those blog posts. So that's why they were the first topic we wanted to cover because everything uh, works backwards from there. I mean, there's so many planning that you moved it and things that we didn't really take into consideration when we were uh, planning for those. So yeah, a lot of things happen. Mm -hmm. And I wish I could have done more. I'm always, I always never satisfied, but I hope it was a helpful thing for the community. Hey, that's that, that was, uh, thank you for saying that. I think that was uh, the main, main uh, personal issue with the internship where I didn't have enough energy to keep up with Jin Wu because he was constantly pushing for more. So if anything, thank you for teaching me how to be more effective in my role. <laughs> I learned a lot from you as well. I mean, I think, um, yep. <laughs> I don't know if I'm always good enough, but uh, if that's the case, thank you as well. Hey, is this your last slide? This is the last slide. Okay, great. So let's move on to our faces so that we can say goodbye to the community. I, mm -hmm. And not to cut you off, it's actually a continuation of the discussion we were having a few seconds ago. So thank you for the time to put this together since your internship already ended. This is uh, extra time that we're running over. Um, and I wanted to quickly make sure that everyone is aware that Yun is going to be at the px 4 Dev Summit. He's going to be talking about his follow me uh, future, everything that went into co uh, coordinating, executing, testing, and uh, contributing this future. And uh, he's also going to be doing something that is new to the summit. He is going to be giving a workshop on mm -hmm. PX4 fundamentals, uh, mm -hmm. which kind of got started as a getting started in PX4 workshop. But going through the outline for this, we sort of figure out that, hey, why don't we make a continuation of the things that June was already doing so that we can explain the basic architecture concepts to everyone in the community. And I'm really excited for that because it's gonna be the first time we have content such as this in general, not even in the summit, just anywhere outside any of our channels. And I think it's gonna be a great first uh, step as a community that we're taking mm -hmm. to share the knowledge and to make sure that more developers get to experience the things that we get to do on a day-to-day -day basis and make it easier for them to contribute back to px4 and making them more comfortable doing so as well and um anything that you want to share about the workshop and your follow me session um well there's great workshops that everyone else is doing i don't want to say that <laughs> mine is better but um my workshop will definitely give you a great overview if you want to uh, contribute something. Like, if you're interested in contributing something, definitely check it out and the workshop. If you want to learn about the fundamentals and if you're like sometimes confused on the PX4 concepts, definitely check it out. But I would also love to check out others' workshops and um, tutorials as well. They're also great. Yeah. The 
workshops are happening at the same time. So mm -hmm. we're going to record them and mm -hmm. you're going to be able to see them later. Mm -hmm. um, but I also wanted to be on both. And uh, I think I'm going to have to split my time <laughs> into when one uh, started in yours and maybe uh, move on to Thomas the Bruner's uh, workshop. Because mm -hmm. um, there's only going to be those two uh, workshops mm -hmm. happening, and we're really excited for them. Thank you again. I don't know that one is better than the other. I think they're very vastly different in topics, mm -hmm. uh, and that's something by design. Wanted to make sure that community had options into, hey, I want to make sure my fundamentals are there and they're solid. So I want to go to this workshop, or I want to go and uh, learn how to uh, adapt new hardware to PX4 and how to adopt the open standards which is what Thomas is doing. But know this, there are going to be dev team members present at both workshops to help Yunwu and Thomas with the topics and we'll be there hands-on to help everyone during the workshops if you get stuck, if you need uh, so a hands-on um, help from one of the dev team members. We'll be there, we'll be able to help you and guide you through the workshops. And with that said, we're looking forward to see you in Austin, but for now, I will say goodbye and thank you one last time to Junwu because this internship was amazing, was everything that we expected and 10 times more. Thank you for being awesome. And I hope that you remain a member of the community. And now that you know how to leverage it for the better, uh, you use the power for good. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, thank you again for the opportunity of the internship. It was really amazing, exactly what I wanted for and more. <laughs> um, same on my side. And thank you to the community again. It has been great. All right, everyone. Well, make sure you find you on Slack or the forums and GitHub. Talk to you on the next one. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye.